Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. I'm your host. My name's Derek Whita, and joining me, as always, the man behind the cameras, the man behind the computers. I don't... Are you promoted to co-host... I put in the paperwork. I have yet to have a response back. So. I'll review it. All right, next month. Yeah, we might be might be promoted to cuss. But you know who he is. It's Owen. Everybody say hi, Owen. It's Owen. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Um, and then also joining us this week, I'm very excited. Um, we have we have my mother in the room. Whoop 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 <laughs> whoop. Is right. whoop whoop is right. <laughs> Her name is Deanna White. She gave birth to me some 34 odd years ago. That's how old I am, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then before we get in the show, I just do want to say today's show is sponsored by me. <laughs> DerekWhite.com. We just released a bunch of new t-shirts. We did. We have a, a shoot. I just realized I hate. I washed my hands because of this COVID-19 shit. I washed my hands. Good. I take my wedding ring off when I wash my hands and I didn't put my wedding ring back on. I oh, feel no. naked without my ring. And now I'm going to have anxiety for the next hour and a half because I can't get up and go get my ring. No, right we started now. already. Yeah, like shit. Can we craft something? Well, anyways, that's just where I'm at in life. <laughs> but where, where was I? DerekWhite.com. We just released a bunch of new T-shirts. They're very good. I like the I like the new designs we have. I do. Um, yep. And I'm very proud that we run. We only charge people fifteen dollars for T-shirts. Why is that? Because because we don't want to pay more than fifteen dollars right, for, for a T-shirt. Me per, you know, like so for the <laughs> for for years and years, the standard on the internet is twenty five bucks or thirty people. Yeah, yeah right. 20, 25 bucks for a T-shirt plus and, shipping. Uh huh. It's nuts. I hate spending that. And much we use on a we use the nice shirts. Uh huh. Um, it's like Bella Canvas Tri Blend or yeah. Ring Spun Cotton. I was I was skeptical about this Ring Spun Cotton because the word cotton to me just means like fucking heavy, hard, so nasty your sweat. T-shirt. But this yeah. Ring Spun Cotton, I don't know what Ring Spun means, it's baby but it's, soft. It's, it's 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 fucking comfortable as shit. So I they're nice it. T-shirts, but fifteen bucks because to me, so for me, I'm a cheap motherfucker. Me too. I don't pay if a shirt is more than twenty dollars. I don't buy it. And so $15 after the shipping cost, you're at about $20, 21 $22. 22 bucks, yep. And that's fair. And above all, I want to be fair to if if I'm selling people something that I wouldn't personally buy, there's a problem there. Right. And so we yeah, so that's a new decision we made. $15 a t-shirt for a nice fucking comfortable t-shirt. They're great for working out. Um I like our new adapter die. Yep. Die, got new, beer got, drinking weight slayers. Yeah, an updated version. We have like I released that in 2015, but this oh, is an okay. updated version. Yeah, the new so one's good. We got new T-shirts up. We've got the training programs. Um, uh, have all sorts of training programs, at home training programs. You got pregnancy. You got post yeah, pregnancy. We, we, yeah, yeah. I like, I like the picture we, for that. If nothing else, <laughs> go to DerekWhite.com and just look around. I do have a couple laughers in there. You know, see what Derek would look like if he was pregnant. And then, you know, (laughs) something. So um, I do also run the Whiter Group. Uh, My mom's wearing the T-shirt, actually. Yeah, the Whiter Group. It's a face. It's a it's a private Facebook group. It's it's my it's where I coach people, I guess I would say. But there's a shit ton of content in there. Workout tutorials, shit about food things about supplements and then just a you ton. can search for them oh really can yeah. you because i don't know how that works you can yeah um and we, we, we're trying to organize like a youtube page but for now the facebook group the whiter group if you want to know what i know about fitness it's already all there i'm not too active in it lately because the truth is it's already all there everything i know about fitness is in that fucking group so look it up it's easy to search it's the whiter group it's on facebook that's my ad for my. Those are the things we do. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm. So get some shirts. Let's yeah. Let's get into get the some show. Shirts, get some workout. Let's get into the show. What's every what, Owen? You don't drink. I got a. I got I a don't. myriad of drinks over here. I got choices. I got Modelo's. I got. Uh, I got one remaining claw, and then I got this. This beer here, the Spotted Cow. And you're not a beer guy, but this is. I used to be. This is Wisconsin. This is a Wisconsin thing. What is that? It's it's just good beer, is man. It an ale I don't, or a blonde I don't. Or? I don't uh, ale. It says ale. I don't know what ale means. 
I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't know beer types and right. I don't know music genres. And I <laughs> fucking hate people who do. People are like, do you like, do you like death metal? Do you like death core? Do you like metal core? I'm like, you're a fucking bitch to me. Shut the fuck up. You know? So, but uh, that's what I, I got. I got options. What do you, what are you drinking tonight? Mom? Um, I'm drinking a little, um, homemade, uh, recipe tonight. What is this? Is this a secret family recipe that hasn't been <laughs> bestowed upon your children? Handed or? down from generation to generation? No. It, if you know me, it's uh, just a little uh, Malibu spiked flavored drink. Perfect. A <laughs> little bit of Malibu. Malibu oh, is rum. little Malibu. little yeah. Malibu is it's rum, actually, right? Yeah, and I, it's a pineapple coconut Malibu. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Ew. Ew. I just remembered, like, growing up, your favorite drink You'd all, you would always order a sex on the sex beach. On the beach. And like, that's just, <laughs> yes. that's just not it? what's in you. that. I don't know. Uh, vodka, orange juice, uh, grenadine stuff. Just, that's just, cream. that's just something you don't want to hear your mom say. No. It's like, what would you like? <laughs> sex on the beach. <laughs> what? Uh, mom. Yeah. Mom. Come God on. Damn it, mom. Yeah. 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 God damn it. Well, all right. Immaculate conception. Mm hmm. <laughs> Well, drink your rum, mom. Um, get loosened up. Uh, I, I do want to ask you a couple questions just to get into okay. the show. Um, have you ever played Desert Island? I don't know what that is. So, so you're stranded on a desert island. The, the, oh. and, and the thing is, you, you can only take it's it's a rapid fire. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and oh you boy. don't you don't stop and think. You just blurt out an answer. <laughs> first thing, okay. In your, first thing in your head. First thing in your head. Going deep into my yeah. mind. Okay. okay if so you want so to. you're stuck on a desert island by yourself. Okay. All right. You get one survival item. What do you bring? Wilson. Okay, so mom chooses a fucking beach ball, a volleyball, volleyball. a volleyball <laughs> companion. All right, yes. that's okay. That's you're gonna die. You're gonna be lonely. Okay, too. you you can bring one book. I can we bring one book? Don't think, just answer. Um, happiness. What the fuck is that? It's 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 the book I'm uh, doing right now. Okay, it's perfect. Little, that right. that is very you. Like pretend to be happy in a shit situation. Perfect. <laughs> Such yeah. an optimist. Okay. One musical album. Um, Greece. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now you can only bring one child. Do you bring your daughter or your son? Don't think. Just answer. Oh, I will go alone. <laughs> so <laughs> Katie and I both die. I was really hoping you'd say your son right there. Right. Um, yeah. The obvious choice <laughs> since Katie's not here. What, what is it? What is this book you're reading, Mom? Called Happiness. It's a. Uh, it's just a little daily journal about. Uh, Spending a couple minutes a day thinking about happiness and it has little prompts to journal something about happiness. Some ne sometimes you draw a little picture, sometimes you remember a memory, and sometimes you go outside and be grateful. That's, you know, I was, I, was, I was wondering if you were going to say the word grateful. Do you know like the biggest, the biggest brain hack you can do when you're feeling upset and want to be happy? Gratitude. Yeah, I love gratitude. gratitude. I do that all. I do that. I do that all the time when I'm when I'm miserable and stuff like that. I and and oddly enough, here's when I think about gratitude, or because obviously, so like last week on the show, we just talked about how I get sad boy. Yeah, sometimes you yep. know, and it's pretty frequent. And you know, I sit here and hate my life and hate my existence and think that I suck. And um, but then I remember, like you know what? Like I got to meet C.T. Fletcher one time and I got to work out with CT Fletcher one time. Like I, I, I got to meet uh, a person that I really look up like that's fucking cool, man. Like I'm, yeah. I must've done something good along the way to have had that opportunity. And like, I also think about, I got to hang out with Rob and Dana Lynn Bailey. Mm -hmm. I mean, that just doesn't happen to normal people in the way that I got to hang out with them and stuff. And I'm just, and I'm just, Derek White, uh, the piece of shit that you fucking failed to raise, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, Thank you. And so, like, I'm I I think about the experiences that I've been able to have, and I'm like, man, no, I have a really, really cool life, and I have a lot to be grateful for. And, and these people gave me their time, you know. I was like, that's fucking. So right. gratitude is a fucking awesome thing. Obviously, you know, there's 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 a lot of other things, but for some reason I have I think about that. I think about the time that I spent with CT Fletcher and then the time that um I got to hang out with Robin Daniel and Bailey because these are people who are very they're hard to reach people. I don't know. Gratitude is a fucking yeah. cool thing, man. Yeah. It is a very cool yeah. thing. Yeah. But yeah, so you like how how are your doodles going? 
because I would definitely <laughs> just just draw dicks. You know, you're a dick drawer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a I, fucking. I kind of yeah. pegged you for that. Yeah. Did, did you ever find my dicks when I was a kid? Like I was a dick drawing kid. He hid dick. He hid dicks all over I, the place. I I yes, I saw your drawings. Did it concern <laughs> you when you saw him drawing dicks? We like, I was oh, married fuck. to his father. Mm-hmm. Did he also draw dicks? Dude, I used to uh, like hide under the table. <laughs> it's a proud to draw dicks. Drawing dicks. I would, just, I would, and I would like Jackie would yell at me. Our babysitter's name was Jackie, and she would yell at me, and I would hide under the kitchen table and draw dicks. So that was a joke and super bad. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck these fucking posers." They stole my life. They're not the. Tr- they're not the real deal. <laughs> you didn't actually fucking just grow up drawing dicks. I did, motherfucker. I did. Don't fucking take this from me. Fuck you. I own this. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jonah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, were they, um, how intricate were your dick drawings? Or were they just your <laughs> classic? They were like, pretty poor. Yeah. But I do remember like the, the most detailed I got was I used a yellow crayon to draw a piss coming out. Mm-hmm. So um, my friend and I had a, a, a I, I don't know if you'd call it a bet, but you get to pick where on your body the tattoo goes, but the other person no. gets to pick what the tattoo is. We haven't actually done it, but the, all the ones that I have picked out for him are the dick drawings. What is the bet? How 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 what who's how do you win a loot? What's the? We bet? don't. You just like we've both entered in. I guess it's more of a pact than it is the fucking. So when does this reach? Next time I see him, like I have to deliver him the the drawing that I want him. Oh, to place he, on you his already body. won the bet. No, we've just both agreed to do this. Like, oh, right. Like, like, I don't care what I tattoo on me really anymore. I just kind of want to fill up space. Yeah. And and he was like, oh, well, let's, I'll pick yours and you pick mine. I was like, wow, you don't want to do this with me, man. That's trusting. Yeah. Mm Because you're getting a dick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You are definitely getting a dick. Yeah. Right on your butt cheek. Hey, that's okay. That, that's how it happens. Um, I, I, um, I, I, I want to ask. We asked Chad, you know, like we like to play Would You Rather. Oh, yeah. Stacy's very good at it. And She's I great. wanted, I have a couple new ones, but I think the one that we asked Chad a couple weeks ago is remember. perfect for my mom. Oh boy. So mom, this is a Would oh. You Rather. Okay. All right. Would you rather be killed by a serial killer or would you rather become a serial killer? You, 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 you only have these two options. I'll be killed. You would rather be fucking killed. You would rather end your fucking life. Yeah, I, you're dead. I, okay, like I'm not killing anybody. She answered that fast. She answered yeah. that faster. Than That's my mom. So, do, like, this is this is this is this is gonna be fun. This is my mom. <laughs> my mom cannot. I don't. How the fuck did this happen? How how'd the you, how the fuck did I happen? How'd you raise? Because I wouldn't even think. She's like, she's like, oh, I'd rather die. And I'm just like, oh no way. I'd no kill, hesitation. I'd kill. I'd kill you. Right. <laughs> if, it, if it came down between me and you, I would, I would, sorry, I would, I would like, sorry, like but no hard feelings. No problem. And you would want, but, but I would know, I know, I know that you'd you, want this. You would want me to live. So <laughs> yeah, I'm so basically, I'm yeah, you. yeah. So it's, yeah. <laughs> if, if, yeah. If you get to live and I have to die. Okay. Yeah. And I'm fine with this. Yes, um, you know, you the fuck you would rather die. She spent more time thinking about which what sibling about she was going to take to an <laughs> island. Than Mom, she about is there that. anybody that you hate? Hate? Do you understand the concept of hate? I don't hate. Do you really not hate or? I, I don't spend any wasted time in life hating. Good for you. That's good. You're, you're no. good at stopping those negative How? thoughts then. But everybody has. You must. I used to hate. I just, what I did feel, you, hate? you know, when I was growing up, there were kids that would tease me, bully me, whatever. I hated them, but. Do you ever hate me? Did I ever hate you? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm hateable. Have <laughs> yeah. Never mm-hmm. once in my life would I ever think about that. <laughs> no, moms aren't oh. programmed for that. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. No way. You can fuck up as much yeah. as you want, and mom's still going to be like, God, I don't I love have. what you did, but yeah. man, do I love you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't have enough time in the world to talk about all the times that my mom bailed <laughs> me out when she should have just fucking left my just fucking hopeless ass. I've, I've given you a run for your money. Yes, and, you uh, have. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> all right. So my mom would rather die than right. stab somebody in the heart. But oh. mom, do you know how fucking, man, I just, I, you know, like, I don't know. I, I think just, it's funny when we asked Chad that, like we all instantly yeah, jumped into like, were, well, yeah. what kind of conditions are there for like, like, can we kill yeah. anybody? Yeah. Or so, can we, so, like- so maybe, maybe you didn't think about it long enough. So <laughs> you maybe, told me not so, to. <laughs> 
<laughs> but but so the the serial killer thing. So say you so it's like your choice is between dying or you have to be a serial killer. But we didn't say who you need to kill. You could only kill bad people. If there were people doing wrong things in the world and you killed them serially, <laughs> you know, <laughs> would you do that as opposed to dying? No. All right. Well, no. I'm in your will, right? <laughs> You get everything. <laughs> you get all of this. At the moment, yes. Perfect. <laughs> all of Perfect. this one day will be yours. Die away, mother. <laughs> Great. Die away. It was nice yeah. knowing y'all. See ya. Anyways, <laughs> oof, I'm excited about this. This spotted cow. I don't know how Stacy landed this. Somebody sent this to Stacy. Yes. Yeah. Actually, so um, when Stacy and I, you know, the, the the CrossFit games are up in Madison, Wisconsin there. Okay. And, and we went to the games. And uh, in 2016, we bought, we bought, tickets but then um we here's gratitude again like dave castro gave us the fucking hookup and he gave us madison passes whatever so we could go in the the vip tent and we had dave um we had very nice um seats in the coliseum but the th in the tents the this shit was free the, oh, the spotted cows bar? were free. Yeah. And so I would oh, fucking, I nice. would go to the VIP tent and fill a backpack with spotted cows <laughs> and then go in the fucking arena. And so I was drinking for about 10 hours a day at the CrossFit games, just fucking getting hammered. So um, here's to my spotted cow. I haven't had one in years. Mm. Mm. Was, mm. I miss beer. Beer. I yeah. did like beer. I'm a dark Dude, beer guy. Oh my god, that's a good fucking beer. This is a new New Glarus Brewing Co. Spotted Cow. It's such a good fucking beer. Only in Wisconsin. Employee owned. All right. Okay. Whatever the. F I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I don't know if you know this, Mom. Do you listen to the podcast or? I do. I do. And would you call this a fitness podcast or what would you call this? Because this is, this was in its creation supposed to be a fitness podcast. There's some fitness we, yeah. tones to it for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, I think it includes fitness and a lot of other things. <gasps> Perfect. It also yeah. includes some things. I'll put you on the spot here. Hopefully you're ready to go. The Savage Slapper. Oh, shit. Yes. You Thank you one? for, dude, I have a whole fucking album. Good. Of Savage Slappers. Trying uh, to keep us on. The, uh, I have a couple. Yeah. Keep I, us consistent. I fuck that up. Dude. I um. So August Burns Red dropped a new album. August Burns. And, and, and I'm going to go backwards. I love every December because it's Christmas music time. You know, August Burns Red has a fucking Christmas album, but it's metal Christmas music. There's no singing. <laughs> it's just it's just instrumental. And it's fucking amazing. And uh um, what is the album called? You work out to that? Oh, dude, I fucking played at Apollo. I plug my shit. It's a, it's a good, it's a good compromise between people who fucking suck and people who like metal. Okay. There's only two kinds of people in the world. That's people it. who like metal and people who fucking suck. Everybody you know? else. So, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so the, the Christmas album is August Burns Red presents Sled and Hill, a holiday album, but their new album is called Guardians uh -huh. and it's just, it fucking slaps, dude. It'll fucking, it, it slaps. And, and, and my favorite songs on the album right now, I think uh, a song called Paramount and a song called Blood Letter. It is just, I, I've been listening to it nonstop. I, I fucking love this album, and I, I don't, to date, I don't listen to August Burns Red except for their Christmas album. That's it. You're a this, just strictly This is Christmas. fucking good, but this, 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 this album, Guardians, this new album, it fucking slaps, and I put it on my Instagram the other day, and I was like, because I just, I fucking love it. It's perfect. I, I, I had a 40-minute workout today, like a 40-minute nonstop mm -hmm. workout, and I just listened to the album on repeat. It's a fucking slapper of an album. Oh, fucking you slap it. you. That's two, that's, so, two, that's two weeks in a row we remember to do it. Perfect. <laughs> Bangerang, Peter. We've, we got the slapper down. Ma, so you're working out these days. You're, you're, are you, what, what was your, what was your body weight today? My body weight today? I don't know. My body weight a couple of days ago was, well, what do you mean? 200.4. Yeah. Okay. 
200.4. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we, uh, we can talk about everything publicly, yes, we right? we just did. Well, who the <laughs> fuck cares? I mean, okay, Nobody. but... Nobody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, no stigmas, no shame. To, you know, huh? no, no no stigmas, no shame. You've been fucking working your goddamn ass yeah. off. Since I've um, known you. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. consistently. Yeah, you have a... I, you have a you, I think you have a, a really cool story to tell because... There's more people like you out there in the world than there are people like me. I, I've been consistently fit for fucking 16 years, you know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. you just they're, they're, but you have been up and down and yo yo and things like that. But I, th- I think I've never seen you mo- so consistent for so long. Like you've been consistent as shit for three years. Three years, and, May 16th. Oh, is why? Why is that important? That's when I started CrossFit. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Nice. I know. That'll be Ew, you're or, you're a, you're a fucking it. you're you fucking do CrossFit. What? Fucking fuck you. Oh yeah, that's why yeah. I'm so pumped up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so now um I know you're working out here. Uh Ma's working out at my house and we gotta figure out some sort of membership fee or something like that. Absolutely. Because like like it, these, like this shit ain't free. This equipment didn't this equipment didn't pay for itself. Yeah, you know, mics cost money. I know. Those yeah, mics. we we got these we got this micro we got these microphones on finance. Okay, so, well, like I'm pretty yeah. sure I paid my dues. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. But you're um you actually uh, this is your last week of the Habitat. Yes. Challenge. And actually, so. Two more days. Yeah. So, Chad, we had Chad Cole on the show two weeks ago. Coach Chad. And, and Habitat is his nutrition. Edu- I, it, they call it a challenge. Yeah. But I, I call really it like an educational course. It's right. a 10 week course. Seven so, habits. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so this is, and this is your last week. Yes. What? So, like, fucking tell me about this. Holy moly. I could, I could talk forever about it, but you want highlights? So the first thing that happened when I started Habitat on week, right after week one, just like they said, they you get daily lessons. And the l- daily lessons said, you know, after week one, you're going to stop craving sweets and stuff like that. And I'm like, <laughs> I've craved that my whole adult life. Wait, no did way. you kick sweets cravings? Because I associate you with jelly beans. Yep. That's like if if I think mom, I think jelly beans, you know, <laughs> jelly, jelly beans, bean story, you know, like you know, jelly beans and popcorn. I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so I'm a chocolate girl, but, but yeah, week one, I didn't even notice you're a little it until white for a chocolate girl, but I'm <laughs> no, <laughs> Yeah. Wait a second, are we talking I, about food? I yeah, really wait. tried to not say that. <laughs> That's my baby. Yeah. That's my baby. Boy. I tried so hard. Did you see the delay there? <laughs> 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 sorry. Go. Con- a, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll continue. Yes. So. so, yeah. So, no, that, that, that little craving just went away. It's in a week? Gone. In a week. Wow. And it's just gone. That's a short period of time because actually, so gone. actually, so I was talking to somebody the other day. So I, um, somebody, this is a common thing people will ask me and, and you've known me long enough to see how easily, supposedly easily I transform my body. Yep. I would, you like when you met me, I was huge because yeah. powerlifting and then I got fucking, and you magically dropped off all that yep, weight and then like, I fucking put it back on uh-huh. and now it's coming off. Yep. And, and so people, um, some, you know, people, people do ask me, they're like, what the fuck, dude, how come you can change your body on command, but I can't seem to lose 10 pounds. And I, and I tell them, I'm like, and I, and I figured it out. I have, I've figured it out. And I just say, I don't snack. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking snack. I don't, no, don't. I don't eat outside. Like I know what I need to, I know what I need to do. I know what I eat. I need to eat. And I just eat that. And I don't crave. It's easy for me. Cause I don't crave things anymore. Right. Or maybe sometimes I do crave mm-hmm. them, but that feeling is overpowered by my desire to do what's right. You know, it's, yep. it's, it's really a, fu- it's my, se- it's my go-to, it's my second nature. So, you know, people are, you know, they try to do fitness and things like that. And they do good 56% of the time, but that 44% of the time, boom. Gets you. Do you see how yes. fucking, I get that, that equals 100. Yeah. That's pretty good on the spot. I was just making numbers up and I got wow. that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, was but, it right? I yeah, was, yeah. I was 56 and, and I was 44. <laughs> right yeah, no, that like, was right. Yeah, start I was. Math and I was impressed. Like, yeah, sure, I was impressed. Numbers. Yeah, no, but people are people like secretly they're they like like they're fucking snackers. Yeah, they're fucking snackers. And like those two days, yeah, the fucking snacker. Like you were a snacker, I'm the queen of snackers. Yeah. So does well, Habitat get into get into kind of what Derek's talking about about getting away from snacking and just eating bigger? Doesn't meals? even have to. No, doesn't even. It just tells you what's going to happen and it once happens. once you find a love for real food yes. once you know what real fucking food tastes like right. you're like nice. oh shit this is what food tastes like yep. and then you crave that good food and it's not just a it's not just a uh, a feeling where it's like ooh i ate this you feel accomplished mm-hmm. after you eat something good because and if you combine that with exercise you like my trick is i like what i eat today is for tomorrow it's not it's not for today it's my what I eat today yeah. determines my tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's and it's and if and if I fuck up today, that means I'm committing to fucking up tomorrow. I'm literally fucking ruining tomorrow by what I'm doing today. Because that's and I'm, and that that's how it goes. So that's what, like when I think about snacking, it's easy for me to not because I say, Oh fuck, I don't want to be miserable for that long. Right. Going all yeah. the way into tomorrow, I'll tell like on a funny thing, and I'm I'm sorry I'll tell uh but I was I was drinking last night I was putting a desk together, and successfully successfully I I did put a desk together you did. awesome <laughs> yeah the drawers work it wasn't the drawers, easy everything's yeah. straight. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, my my buddy, uh, he said he said, yeah. I hope it turns out. Hope it's straight. I was like, well, I hope it's straighter than me, anyways. You know, but you know, but uh, I I was drinking. I was drinking beers, putting together, listening to music, and I ordered pizzas last night because I was you know I was drinking. I was like, I don't give a fuck. So I ordered I ordered two pizzas. I ordered cheese sticks and I ordered jalapeno poppers. Nice. I love that shit. And I was like, wait, fuck. So it, it came. It got delivered. And I was like, ah. I don't want to, I don't actually want to eat this. I, or I shouldn't eat this. And I didn't eat it. Like I do that sometimes. Sometimes I fucking, in a moment of weakness, I'll go, I'll buy shitty food. But then when it comes, when push comes to shove, I don't eat it because I'm setting myself up to feel awful tomorrow. Yeah. So that's, you've, you've managed that. You know, you did that in a week. I tell people it takes years <laughs> I, <laughs> because I, I can't explain it either. I can't explain it either, but we got this food list and it wasn't, you know, I've done everything in the past, fat grams, calorie counting, blah, blah, blah. But this was a food list that wasn't a food list. It was more, a bit more of an ingredient list. Yeah. And you just. like, and it's funny because it's like, here's what real food is. Go find that. Go find that. And then all of a sudden you find yourself at the store looking at ingredients and everything. And you're like having this, oh my, are you kidding? Yeah. You know, sugars in this and this and this and this. Oh. Wow. Is sugar, is sugar the big thing that you're you're trying to avoid yeah. as as uh, I guess in the rest of the food that's on the list? Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, you're you're eating whole foods. Yeah, you know, it, like because there's there's good sugars. There's totally. good yeah. like before, if we're gonna say yep. sugar, there are good sugars. Yep. yep. <laughs> Carbs are sugar. Fucking fruit Potatoes. is sugar. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, so that's actually what is weird about like a Weight Watchers diet. Um. Like Weight Watchers, they have they have food that is it's a points system, right? You know, and there's some foods that are zero points, but there is no such thing as a zero food because it's like fruit is zero points on Weight Watchers. So you can so if it's like I don't know how the shit works. So it's like so let's say you have ten points per day, right? You can eat food all day, or you can eat fruit all day every day. And that's zero points, but that's fucking sugar, 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 yeah. sugar, sugar. And those are good sugars, especially at the right times. But at the end of the day, it's fucking, there's no such thing as a food that doesn't, that equals zero. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, right. Fucking, you got to burn that shit <laughs> off. Yeah. So yeah. this is know. all about proteins and veggies and. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and you yeah. know, it's, what's, what's cool is like, and it makes you cook. Right? Yes. Ma, I, I can't, uh, how the fuck. You're just like you're just now learning how to cook. I know. I'm what getting the? pretty good at it too. Well, yeah, about time. Well, it's just, fuck. You're fucking fifty six years old. Well, your dad was the cook, and my mom was the cook when I was growing up, so I didn't have to. Mm-hmm. Kind of skated by. I I did that's other things. Yeah. I contributed See, in other ways. Right, but you know what? So that's a lot of. I think um, 
it's a big problem with people and their health and fitness and and nutrition is their shitty relationship with food yeah. people nowadays it's i think you know it's common cooking is seen as not a good use of time because cooking like spending time cook, cooking cooking food takes 30 minutes at least at least at least 30 minutes and you get nothing in return or people think you get nothing in return for that time spent cooking because there's no monetary um, gain from that there's no advancement right at work for that right but like actually what you're getting when you cook is existence and it's it's the best use of time like there is no better use of time than fucking cooking good healthy food there but but people don't see it that way because we're caught up in got to make money got to advance in my position got to climb the social ladder things like that. And so people don't, there's yeah. no, they don't prioritize cooking. They don't value that time spent, but it's literally giving you existence. Food is existence. You would die without food. You would die without water and being healthy. Why the fuck would you, you know, you have two choices in life. You can be healthy or unhealthy. You know, uh, we get, we get lost in that <laughs> shit. So yeah. like it's, I'm, I'm glad that you're cooking now. You. I'm, s you know, not surprised that it's taken you so long. I think, I think you're the normal. Probably. More so than me. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I had to learn how to cook. You guys didn't teach me how to cook. I didn't know how to cook. How yeah. would I teach I, you? I didn't. I had to teach myself <laughs> I know. what so healthy Katie. food was. Yeah. You remember all that shit when yeah. I was a teenager? I had to, mm -hmm. I had to learn from magazines about food. I don't know how you did it. There yeah, were well, no guidance. <laughs> yeah. no, gu uh, no guidance at all. I no. grew up eating zebra cakes, drinking pop, eating potato chips. Hamburger guys, helper. Yeah, you guys just <laughs> oh, you yes. guys just gave us fake food. I was food, really good fake at food. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. I could microwave you mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Awful. Yes. But you cook you cook real food now. I cook and, real food. And you enjoy it, don't I you? Do. I do. Isn't it fun? It, it is fun. Isn't it a good fun. use of fucking time? Doesn't it make you happy? You know? So You know what really makes me happy when like you guys come over and we're cooking or Stacy's cooking and 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 um you know, you need a utensil, you need something to you know, cook with uh, and and whenever I have it I'm like, yes, I've got a kitchen that is stocked with the things we need to cook with. Yeah, because, oh, I remember when, when Stacy and I met, um, when we were early in dating, we visited you in Minnesota, and it doesn't matter where I go, I cook my fucking food. Yeah. When I was staying at my mom's apartment in Minnesota, and I needed a cutting board, and all you had, <laughs> it was like a six by four cutting board. Yeah. I'm like, mom, what the fuck? Hey, what do you cut How on this fuck? thing? That's the only cutting board she fucking had. Now I have like eight cutting yeah, boards. Yeah, no, you got a fucking, you got a, you got a goddamn kitchen over there now. Yeah. And it's, but that's, you know, um, yep. cooking is also therapeutic in a way yeah. where, you know, if like the, the, if the world never stops, the world never stops and the world never stopping overwhelms us and makes us miserable. But it's all about kind of like remembering what's important <laughs> you know all that's right cooking is such a cool thing and now yeah i know um you make you make all these uh recipes and stuff now but habitat you have to follow some guidelines that i don't know that are sustainable for your whole life there's some things that you haven't been able to eat yeah that we geez. consider healthy but I mean, but it's a good it's a good course it's it is good, right yeah it i mean it's 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 awesome because it's not only Nutrition, I mean, it gets into exercise and fitness towards the mm -hmm. end. But, um, you know, water and sleep and happiness and, yeah. yeah. That's what I really like. So, actually, we um, we promoted Habitat, um, this challenge, when it came out. And, and the, the thing I liked most about it is that Chad, you know, in when we talk about fitness, everybody talks about um, exercise, um, nutrition, supplements, but there is a happiness quote. I call it the happiness quotient. Mm -hmm. If you are not happy, you are going to fail. So happiness is so fucking important in your health and fitness. Like if you're doing something that you don't like, um, you're you're gonna fail. No, like yeah. no, like if you're not happy, there's a happiness quotient, and that's um, I want to save this for a later date. That's my argument against counting macros. That's it. it, it, it if you're a slave to yourself you know like so if you know it's like habitat is great because it's not a tyrant 
A lot mm-hmm. of diets, a lot of diets yeah. are a tyrant, and then you become a slave to your own tyrant. I have to do it this you way. Are both this is the slave. only way. Yeah, you are yeah. slave and tyrant at the same time. Yeah, that's a horrible place to fucking be. You are only going to be miserable and fucked up mentally, and you're going to yeah. quit. And <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. And you're going to get worse than when you fucking started, yeah. you know? That's like, why I think <laughs> Habitat is sustainable o- overall. You know, there's some things I'll introduce back in my diet, but uh, just it, it allows you to not be perfect, and, a, and that's okay, and it still works. And so those... And you don't have to count macros, right? No. Like, yeah, you don't have to, like, fucking... No. Fuck, yeah, I, I, I really do want to save this for <laughs> later. Like a whole... But. The yeah. whole anti macro. Yeah. God. No, I There's don't. so <laughs> many better ways to spend your life. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you, and so actually you've, um, so you've lost some weight in the last 10 weeks, right? Last 12 pounds. And you were stuck for a while, weren't you? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. You've been sort of like fucking plateaued for yeah two years or something like that. Oh yeah. I, at least, yeah. When I started CrossFit, I dropped 40 pounds. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Well, hold on. Okay. When you started CrossFit. <laughs> uh, so you started CrossFit in what, 2016? And it was so, so. so 2017. 2017. Dad yeah. died when? Uh, 2015. 2015. And um, so, so my dad, your husband, he died of, I mean, he, he, he died of poor health. It was cancer that got him in the end, but he died of poor health. He didn't give a fuck. He did not give a fuck, dude. He got diet. How old was he when he when he when he died? He was fifty six. How old was he when he got diagnosed with diabetes? I don't remember. But it was it was like years. forty. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say ten years. Ten years. This guy got gets diagnosed with diabetes. I remember the first year he got diagnosed with diabetes. I bought him a fucking cookbook. <laughs> and it was it was how to cook good food with diabetes because this right. is a guy he ate his way to diabetes he he was so nasty and unhealthy that he fucking developed a disease you know like and you can do that successfully yeah. yep. if you yes. drink pop and eat fucking gummies and little debbies you will fucking successfully earn yourself a fucking disease <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Like you will win a disease. There's a trophy at the end of the fucking, you know, and at, it's at called the, the diabetes. Yeah. You will get diabetes. And, and I, I, when he got diabetes, I was like, fuck, this is going to fuck this dude's world up. And, uh, you know, I'd already been shot at this point or no, I was still in the army. Yeah. You know? And so I got my dad a cookbook and it was how to cook good food that tastes good. Right. With diabetes. And he got fucking pissed off about it. Um, he thought he took it as an insult. Yep. And I was like, whatever. So, I mean, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't. You were mean, trying to help. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't intend for insult there. But, um, you know, I remember for 10 years or so, like, so dad had diabetes and you would, you would go buy him pop and gummies and little Debbie's and chips and all this fucking shit. And I remember actually saying to you sometimes, I'd be like, mom, you're killing dad. You are contributing to killing dad. And it wasn't just that, but he had, he had COPD Mm -hmm. and then he continued smoking. um, To the day before he died. Yeah. And, 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 and we all thought that he wasn't smoking, but he, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Smoking and then some. Dad, that like, my dad was a good liar. Oh, very good. Uh, You guys were good liars too. Um, (laughs) There were some (laughs) things hidden from me, but, um, but like dad, you know, but so I tried to care about dad. I tried to, to, cause I had learned about health and fitness and things like that. And I watched this guy just be fucking lazy and miserable and unhappy and unhealthy. And I watched it and I tried, but I was, I was met with, um, um, you know, he was defensive, very, very yeah. defensive. And maybe like my approach might've been shit. You know, maybe my approach was shit, but it's weird for a son to approach a father and say, hey, I might know more than you on this, you know, yeah. especially if you don't have that relationship but, to begin with. But yeah. And and the and the the end of the story is like at some point I just gave up. I just gave up on my dad. I'm like, you're going to fucking die. This is going to kill you. And I was right. 
and he just died. My dad died of cancer, but my dad actually died of not giving a fuck. He, you know, <laughs> he's just like, well, I'm just going to be fucking casual and not give a shit about life. And I'm going to fucking die early as shit. How old is he? 56. 56. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's early. Man. You know? And so, but actually, I gave up on you too. I, I, know. I did. Like when dad died, you were, how big were you then? About 250. Yeah. And you are how tall? Five, six. Yeah. Five, five. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Well, yeah, we're we'll going with a five, four on that one. Uh, no, yeah, I no, was five, were, five. Now I'm five, four and three fourths. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want oh. that three fourths. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I, I gave up on dad and I gave up, I, you know, when, and dad died and I wasn't, and I wasn't emotional about, and I was like, I called it. I called this fucking 10 years ago. I called it. I've been prepared and, and, it, and, and, you know, not to be um, heartless or something like that. I get it. I was, no. just, I was prepared. Yeah. I, I saw it coming for fucking years and years and years and I gave up. I gave up trying to help because I couldn't get through and maybe that, I, you know, one, I don't know if that was my place, but also, I just gave up. Well, you know. he didn't want to be helped. So. Sure, yeah. But I also gave out, you know, when he died, I was like, you're next. You're next because you were not healthy either. Well, right. Yeah. I had just gotten kidney disease before he got sick. And then that, yeah, I was at my absolute worst Yeah. when I, he died through all of that. Your ankles were so fucked up. They hurt like heck. Yeah. But, you know, like, so this is, I mean, to uh, this is... I, I, th- this, this year, I think your, 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 your life story is great because this is where not giving a fuck gets you down the road. You know, if you don't give a shit about your health and fitness in your twenties, you're going to get by no problem. You can, you're in your thirties. You're going to start to notice a few changes in your forties. It gets tougher. Whoa. Let me tell you. <laughs> and then when you hit your fifties, and you, oh. if you haven't given a fuck for twenty years, yeah. when you hit your fifties, you, you're just you're like I, I see it, I see it, I see it everywhere. But I, I saw it in my parents. My dad didn't give a shit. He didn't address the problem. He decided to make zero changes, and he fucking died. But you, I gave up on you because I, I couldn't help you. I, I couldn't help you. I couldn't get through. But you decided to help yourself. What, what, what happened? How did that, how did that change? Cause you, you never fucking cared. I mean, you did, you did, you know, like you counted. I, did. I went up and down. You went up and down. Things, you were the classic yeah. case of crash yeah. diet, achieve results, gain more weight right. back. Yeah. Crash diet. I, I remember you doing it like three or four times. Oh, at least probably yeah. more. And it was just crash yeah. diet. And then you got, um, I, I, I used the word and I'm not going to cater to your sensitivities is like you got fatter and fatter yeah oh god yeah <laughs> you know? oh, like yeah. i use the word fat here mom yep. sorry i call I myself fat when i'm fat and it is what it is i but don't you, care you know, but you're the classic story of crash diet get fatter yep. crash diet get even fatter even fatter yep. even fatter and then yep. when dad died you were it wasn't I, looking good no no between being the heaviest i'd ever been and then kidney disease and the stress of all of that um the 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 fluid in my body, you know, compounded from the kidney disease. It was, it was the worst I'd ever been. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and yes, what, what changed, Uh, you know, you go, you know, through grief, grief is a weird thing. Grief is a weird thing, but you know, about mm, nine months after dad died, I just, I, I had a dream and I had a dream that he was in, and it came to, uh, I mean, uh, I, you know, unless you want to hear the whole dream, I won't tell it all to you. But, I mean, the end of it is, you know. Well, wait. Okay. I didn't want to hear the whole dream, but now that you say, <laughs> what was in the dream that I wouldn't want to hear? Oh, nothing in the dream that <laughs> oh. you wouldn't want to hear. Okay. I don't know if you want to hear that story. What did that do to you, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to drive me to the edge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, he's... We were just in a truck, and he was driving like crazy in it, and um, we were talking to each other without talking. But the, you know, it was I, I was sleeping. I was having the dream. I, it was the middle of the night. It's a real dream. It was a real dream. It was vivid. 
it's vivid today as it was that night. And and he was driving like crazy, and up in the distance, I could see the edge of a big cliff. And it was like, okay, you know, he's saying, this this is it. You want to come with me? You can. Just stay here. If you don't, you need to get out before I run off this cliff. You know, I mean, it, it, that was the exchange we had. And um, I had this split second to make a decision am I gonna literally live or die because I swear if I would have chose to stay in that truck you would have found my body and and yeah. and the autopsy would show I died of natural causes yeah because she didn't want to be a serial killer she'd yeah. rather die no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, dad yeah. was like you want to be a serial killer or do you want to get killed Choose by now. a serial killer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get out you, of the truck wait hold on are you a serial killer mom I can either confirm nor deny. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. So anyway, sorry. I jumped out of the truck and he went over the cliff. And when I went to look over the cliff, what happened? It was a beautiful ocean, pretty blue water, but the truck was gone. You know, I yeah. disappeared in the air, but I live. I chose life. Yeah. And, nice. and it wasn't long after that, you kids came to my uh, apartment. So it, so it wasn't me persistently trying to tell you for 10 plus years you had no effect on her is what it she's was saying. a dream <laughs> yes. it was a dream it was a dream she had you were <laughs> no, no help that's that's a perfect thing it's like <laughs> that's 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 perfect that's exactly how it needs to happen because you just you you know um in my position you can't i can't help somebody until they decide health and fitness is a personal choice yeah. and and you can fucking gnaw at a motherfucker over the years, you can try to nudge them and things mm -hmm. like that, but you can't change somebody. You can't make them care until they're ready. And you came to that on your own. It was your own. It was your own thing. And and some people don't. They never get there. They never get there. It's like, like a it's like, like a rock bottom analogy for someone with addiction or something like yeah, that. Like no, they, like, until you know, they hit it, like you yeah, can't. No, exactly you're like not that. Help and, them. and people write and ask me like, how do I help this person? who has PTSD, how do I help this person who has depression? How do I help this person who doesn't give a fuck about their health and fitness? And it sounds like a cold answer, but I just, I tell them the truth. I say, you can't. You can't you, you, can all, you, can, you can be there, you just be there to love and support them. Yep. But like, you can't change them. And that's what, that's what I mean when I said like, I gave up on you. Yeah. I, I fucking, I loved you. And, yeah. and I was there for you, but I was like, but you're, you're, you're a grown ass woman and your decisions are your decisions for better or worse but you yeah. got there on your own well i you know you and katie had always you know urged me and were there but sure. but yeah you've got to make that decision but i knew but there was well, always there there was always if if you were if you were um crash dieting and things like that throughout your life there was always a desire there to be something that you weren't living up to. There was, you had yeah. the desire. Yeah. And, and I, and I think that desire is, is like, it's, you know, people know who they want to be and what they want to do, but sometimes living up to that is hard. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that desire. And sometimes you get overwhelmed. Like you fucked up for so long. It probably seemed overwhelmed. Oh, it was completely like, overwhelmed. Yeah, you, you know, it's like, where do I, where do I even start? So uh. where did, where did you, so that's where people, that's, you know, people, you know, they put it off for so long that it's, it's, it's a dark cloud. And yep. I, ha and I, and I have versions of the <clears throat> fitness is not my problem. I have, a I but I have problems. <laughs> I do. I have, a, I had a dark cloud for fucking years and I, I'll say it because I'm not ashamed or embarrassed. Like I didn't, I didn't, I was, I, I didn't pay taxes for three years. I don't do pay. It's not, I, I wasn't like lying to the government or hiding money or doing something like that. Like I don't do paperwork. I think I said it. No offshore accounts that you were like, no, yeah, no. Or I, anything I think like I that. said, I think I said last week when I talked about things that make me anxious and depressed, it's, it's paperwork. Yeah. And, and, and I never wanted to be a business owner. Um, but now I am and there's all these things. So for, for, I, I, so I was trying to get help with doing taxes and stuff but I, I kind of failed for two years to find right. the right help. And then it became this, this dark cloud that I couldn't even touch. Right. So it just got worse and worse. So it's so it, bad. Like, I'm so, not even going to try. Know, it's Stacy, Stacy really helped me take care of that. Yeah. And now, now we're on the up and up and I'm very, uh, and, and now I'm on top of my shit. Yep. But it, but it, like that fucking, 
-hmm. It's so easy. That first step is so fucking easy, but it's so hard. Mm -hmm. It's so fucking hard. So like, I'm just, I, I, you know, like this is, this, it's a dark cloud. It's a dark cloud. Dark, that it's, yeah. it, it's, it's a problem that seems so overwhelming. You don't even know where to start. And that's where you were at. I was. So how did you start? Well, I asked you kids, I had this beautiful apartment building downtown Minneapolis and I asked you kids to come and help me uh, in my apartment gym to learn how to, you know, use some things and, and. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Actually, shit, like, I was to, there. Like, like how to use some, <laughs> how to use some stuff in the Fuck, kitchen. I was there. How, yeah. how to use some stuff in the, in the gym with the condition I was in. Oh, I mean, I'd been to it. a gym before and uh, lots of times. Right. But I, I just needed some help. How to use gym equipment. Yeah. I was thinking of food for some reason. Oh, no. Like how to yeah. use stuff in the no. kitchen. No, yeah, so yeah, yeah, they yeah. came and and we videoed um, Derek doing some workouts, and I still have them on my phone. The original swing tutorials. swing a kettlebell. The original tutorial, yeah. I still, yeah. still have them. Fucking four them. years yep. ago, five years ago or and, something like that. And then yeah. I started. I actually um, remember this, yeah. And then and you were so, I tried to show, I do remember, I tried showing you how to swing a kettlebell, and you gave it an attempt. And you were so bad. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And I and I tried to show you how to do a goblet squat. But oh, you I couldn't, can't. You couldn't even squat down to a bench without okay, no. assisting yourself with your hands. No. It was, it was, it was. It or was, get up. It was awful. <laughs> and I, and. God, that must have seemed like impossible where if that's the condition you're in and, and, and you're looking at fitness and you're like, how am I going to, how am I going to get from point A to. Point D it was or C. Or how am I going to get to fucking point A to how point A point start, one? Right. Yeah. <laughs> how am I going to get to point but A? It, did, it didn't start there. The the thing I didn't realize through through you know really get losing my health was that I was losing my health. I didn't realize. No, I, I watched you and Dad die for a I, long I, ass time. You know, and you were you were yeah. next within a year or so. Absolutely. Yeah, I just it, it, so at a, at, at a younger age, I just accepted the fact that you two were gonna die. Yeah, because you didn't give a fuck. That's that's the sh like you didn't give a fuck. You know, like you got you like you guys liked being alive, but you weren't doing anything. You weren't making any conscious efforts to continue that path of existence. <laughs> you know, because yeah. you do have to be healthy to fucking stay alive. Things had gotten out of control. Yeah. Mm hmm. But um, but but whereas Dad quit, you chose a different path, and so, um, I remember that at your apartment there. Yeah, but it, but it, I don't think you you uh, followed through with the at home workouts there too much at the apartment. Well, I, I was remember I was tr trying to do the um, that elliptical. I was trying to get better and better at my time yeah, on right. to, to do a mile on the yeah. elliptical mm -hmm. and. And and Katie was um, uh, had found a new CrossFit gym and had w wanted me was to. Was this at Allegiance or was this she, CrossFit after Allegiance or, closed? Yeah. It was at Minneapolis. Yes, yeah, so you were watching us do CrossFit, and this time yep. at this time in my life, I was competing and stuff, and you were coming and watching me compete. Right, in and then you for the first time. Yeah. You you had started the next objective, and um, oh. I had gone to a couple of those workouts to support your nonprofit, and I ended up. You know, trying to do <laughs> CrossFit yeah. when I didn't know even what yeah. it was. And yeah. But was that kind of motivating to like kind of dip your toe in the pool? It was because you go there and there, you know, you're there to support all these veterans. But it, it, truth be told, they were helping me. Right. And, um, you know, they were so support. It didn't matter. I was 250 pounds and I couldn't even hardly walk. And if there were steps to get up into the gym, it was, oh, my God, what am I going to do to get in there and not look like an idiot? Uh, I really liked um those days those workouts because that's what it was it was it was it was it wasn't about you know the so the next objective is a nonprofit that we used to run and 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 it, it's not in existence anymore for the same reason dude like that was my dark cloud I, d I don't do paperwork we got behind we didn't you know like we got behind with the irs on the the tno paperwork and that's my fault. You lose your status as a yeah, nonprofit. Yeah, we lost yeah. our five hundred one c three. Not ever because we never mishandled a fucking penny. Right. No. Like we never, we never like that was a nonprofit. We ran. It was one hundred percent charitable. So yeah. it was like ninety one percent of the money that 
you know, Katie did the books and 91% of the money that we raised went to individual veterans and the other 9% went to organizing events for veterans. So it's like, I don't ever feel like, so. No, that was it, good. Yeah, it was good. And I, and I think about mm-hmm. starting it back up or something, but we have so much responsibility now. Um, especially, you know, now I'm married with kids and things like that. It's like, fuck, where do I have room in my life for that? But those were such cool days. Those were neat. because because it wasn't about me or people like me who were fit. You know, the people who were fit would come in and have a good time. Mm-hmm. But the 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 legit motherfucking point of that day was for the two or three people that were fat as shit, who <laughs> fucking didn't think they could do a goddamn thing. Right. But they're and nobody's telling them to do something but they see all these people around them doing things and they're just like, what if I try? Right. What if I try? And then they start doing things that they didn't think that they could do. And they're like, Oh fuck. And it re it reignites a flame inside of them. A flame. Everybody has a flame. Right. And it just, like, it's like, you know, it just matters how much gasoline you put on it. Right. And so those, those, like those, those TNO workouts, that was just like, everybody has a flame inside. And then we'd fucking single out the people who needed a little lighter Sometimes, Sometimes you're standing next to something that helps keep that, that uh, flame ignite. And you and I have talked about that. You've even said it on the podcast. Like the army was really good at that for you. You know, you're, you're training. I'll I'll tell you something right now. Like I'm going through that personally myself right now. Like I, I, you know, last week we talked about that I'd been depressed and things like that. Um, so, um, this, and I, and I said, I started meditating and things like that. Right. Another thing I started doing, dude, I've been listening to podcasts, right? One specifically who Jocko's. Oh yeah. Dude. Good shit. Dude, he is the gasoline on my fire. I'll listen to it. Do you listen to it? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, but, but I will. But I've like, got like four it, or five know, I, I listen to. I um I've never I've never um the mentor thing to me is weird. Maybe because I'm such I, I think that's a negative quality in me. I I might be such a narcissist that I don't want to look up to anybody else. Okay, yeah. But I do yeah. love but or also it could be because it could be because I never had a, a man to look up to. My dad wasn't a person to look up to. There's some Freudian I, I shit got, in I there. Got, I got used to yeah. not looking up to somebody else. You know, I yeah. got used to figuring out life on my own. You conditioned I got, yourself. I, had, I taught like my, my values. I taught myself, you know, I, I, I had to, or the army taught me things like that. I right. had some good leaders and stuff right. like that. So, um, and I, and I really liked that army mentality or the military mentality the military mantra. Yeah. And in, as a civilian, I get away from that and I get caught up in things like that. Mm-hmm. Jocko, I dude, I brings you back. I, I, I think he is a person to look up to. Nice. And maybe I need that in my life right yeah. now, you know, maybe, and it's okay. It's okay. You know, I don't, I don't like getting advice. I'm very skeptical about other people. Um, I'm very critical of other people and things like that. But I like Jock, I've let his podcasts are like three hours fucking long. Oh, dang. Like, like Joe four, Rogan's four hours long. Yeah. And I listen to him, but so specifically I listened to Jocko's podcast with, uh, Shit, fuck. Who's the congressman? The Navy SEAL congressman. From Texas? With the mm-hmm. eye patch. Oh. Crenshaw. Crenshaw. Dan Crenshaw. Dan Crenshaw. Yeah. I listened to that like whole him. podcast. Amazing. If Dan Crenshaw <laughs> Crenshaw ran for president, I would actually, mom, I would register to vote and I would go vote for president. What? Yeah. You? And you know I don't vote. Nope. But um, I also listened to his podcast with Jordan Peterson. And we've mentioned Jordan Peterson on the yeah. podcast before. Yep. His book uh, is so... Uh, I just wanted to share that to give it, you know, um, everybody needs a gasoline on their fire sometimes. And, yeah. and, and I think I'm in one of those and it, and it happens again and again and again, you know, we get, we get, we sort of lose ourselves sometimes and, and sometimes somebody brings us back into focus. And I just wanted to, what you, what you were saying there, I'm going through that right now. And so I, you know, and that's okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But so, so that was, that was kind of like putting a little gasoline on your inner flame. You've always had a passion for life. I have. You've always had a passion for life. Yep. And it started 
coming back a little bit. It started yeah. coming back. And yep. then and then you joined CrossFit. I <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> right. So what, three years ago. So what was I? Fifty four? Were you scared? Because uh, yeah. So you know what? I think I think it's very yep. common. I think is like I said earlier on. I think you're the norm, especially for like women in their fifties. Yeah, just, I'd agree just, with that. Just, just not just, everyone's just an athlete. Overweight and unhealthy. Yeah, and and that the the solution is terrifying. Oh. It's an easy solution, and but it's terrifying. CrossFit's an amazing fucking sport it's a many it's an amazing training ideology it's not just like i mean crossfit is cool because it helps you fucking sit down and stand up better and that's what you need when you're getting older you know? right <laughs> like functional fucking fitness <laughs> guess it. what's guess what's functional when you're crouching up to 60 sitting down yeah and Putting standing on your own up. Socks. getting yeah. up pretty cool mm-hmm. yeah yeah, but um, right. So <laughs> putting those leggings on. Do you remember your first day of CrossFit? I remember it very well. well tell me that story. So I'd like to hear this. I I think other people should hear this too. It was um, Katie had been trying to get me to go, nudging nicely, and it was um, Bring Your Friend Day, and she oh that bitch got you on Bring Your Friend Day. Got me on Bring Your Friend Day. <laughs> A dirty CrossFit move. Yep. Right? Yeah. I'll just come test out one. Just come see. (laughs) Just see if you like it. Everyone's really friendly. (laughs) And she knew that Coach Chelsea Lyons was coaching. I met Chelsea. She's a nice girl, yeah. She's amazing. Very fit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, she's a firefighter now in Minneapolis. Oh, shit. Yeah. Get the fuck. I can see that. She's amazing. Yeah. But uh, um, so Katie knew she was coaching that day and brought me in. And so I went in the... Back room where all the newbies go, and you know the fir- you know one of the first things we were gonna do was uh, jump on, on a box, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I have a rule in life. I seriously had a rule, and I don't remember how many years I had this no, rule. I remember this rule. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Two feet don't leave the ground at one time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That is, That's that, my mom, and that, I was right? fucking airborne. That was you a know? rule like, for a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Feet and knees together and feet yeah. always on the ground. My mom's <laughs> rule was two feet don't leave the ground <laughs> no, at the no, same time. No. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so she, she said, yeah, okay. So she threw a 10-pound plate on the ground, and I did step-ups sure. to the 10-pound plate. It's the and, beauty of CrossFit. It's infinitely yeah. scalable. I'm sorry. Yeah. I want you to tell your story. I, this no, is, that's... This is, this is such an important story because so many people – are where you were at three years ago. Yeah, they got that first day coming up. They're fucking terrified. No, they're, they, they, they're not even signed up for their first day. No. They're not even signed. It's, so, it's, it's day. too terrifying. Yeah. It's too terrifying. So so I went, I, so I did that, and I think I learned how to, you know, do something with the PVC pipe and that kind of thing. And you have to remember then, you know, yeah, I was dealing with kidney disease and, and fluid retention and my knees, horrible, horrible knee pain from arthritis. Um, you know, but I made it through that class and after class I, I felt better, you know, just a little bit. I, I wasn't, you know, my knees didn't hurt as much. I mean, they back then they hurt terrible. I think of the, how I got through that pain, I don't know. But I, uh, I, I thought, okay, you know, and Chelsea said, well, think about it. You know, we do this class three days a week. You could come just three days a week. And so I just did. It, you know, she made it so I didn't feel like an idiot. I could do some things. So I started three days a, a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And you go like, did you start going super early or? Yeah, it was um, 6, 6 a.m., 6 to 7 a.m. 6 a.m. class. And I... Katie went in the morning. I I really that worked out well for me because with kidney disease and 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 you know at that point the um the the as the day went on the swelling got worse. Oh okay. And yeah, yeah. Knees hurt worse. So yep. going in the morning before all that swelling set in uh was better for me. So yeah, I went and and boy in the beginning I you know I'd be sore. 
and thank God I had, you know, Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Starting Sunday. off the morning sore in CrossFit. Uh, sore, yeah, sore from working out, you oh, know. Yeah, for sure. So I needed those four days of rest yeah. to regroup. Yeah. And then, and then as it went on, you know, I, you know, with that knee pain that I had, it was like, you know, yeah. It was hard to go some days. Yeah, no, I bet because I yeah. like I think a lot of people have like old injuries and things mm-hmm. that they're they're trying to overcome in addition to all this new stress that they're putting on their body from working out muscles and yeah. and stuff that they haven't worked out in years. Right, but here's the thing: no matter how bad they hurt, I go, I do the warm up, I get through the workout, and going home, I. You know, my knees felt better. Right. Even even though they hurt like heck, and I had to work through that warm up, and be, you know, the be, I always felt better. And as time went on, as you know, as I kept doing it, you know, I increased to four days a week. Eventually, cre- increased Derek's back. Can you Derek. tell? <laughs> 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 increased to five days a week, but gradually the knees got better right and better and right. be- and now here I am three years down the road and I I still have to be careful with my knees but yeah, I don't too, have uh, pain sorry about your fucking leg problem Are we <laughs> sorry about your leg problem <laughs> sorry about your fucking I leg. get this <laughs> every time I bring up <laughs> I can't imagine no I'm just kidding no I remember no, both knees dude, hurt like, man one, one of one of, uh, one of your first uh things you were so proud of is that you could like step out of your car without pain it's such dude like it like yeah. this is this is a person's life i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be easy on you because you're my mom like y- like your big accomplishment yeah. at 54 years old was that you could step out of your car with 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 less pain like that is such a yeah you know um it was huge i and, called and, you guys that, that day that that, that 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 could have been easily avoidable by giving a shit about your health and fitness for your whole life. We say this on the show all the time. Yeah. Fitness is my life. I don't I don't want people to do what I do. I don't want them to do it at the level I do. This is my chosen passion vocation. But it, fitness should be a part of a part of everybody's life. Right. If you, Absolutely. You, you, you could have avoided this the whole time. And that, that that's okay. Like I have things I could have avoided that are still problems today, you know, but this is, yeah, but, 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 you know, you could have avoided it and it got to that level of a problem, but I think you're the norm. I think there's more, like I said, I think there's more people like you than there are like me. So what, what advice would you give to the person who was you before you went to that first CrossFit class, there's so many people out there that are so terrified of starting. They're so, cause they're so far gone. They're fucking, they're fucking fat as shit. They're in pain. They're, they can't control their eating. And then, so they eat worse because they know all these things. You, you like when you're like, yeah, that, that was <laughs> you. Did that. You, it, it's, it's such a fucking weird thing being yeah. a human. You do worse when you're unhappy about how bad you're doing. Yeah. Like yeah. when you're unhappy about how poorly you're doing, it Ugh. fuck it, let it, me burn this house down. Oh yeah, like you know, burning like, it. But it's it and it's and at some point you have to say stop. Stop. I'm fucking done. Like this is as low as I'm going to let myself get. And I and the, I I think the important thing there is like at some point you have to say that's far enough. That's far enough. And here's the trick to that step. Don't be upset about the past. Don't be upset about what you got or what got you there. You just you just say, this is as far as I'm going to go. And here is where I am at day one. And this is just where I am. And all I'm going to do is take steps f- forward now. But I'm not, if you, if you live in shame from what got you there, oh, yeah. you know, like you, you, you lived horribly for a long time, mm-hmm. but when you decided that this is your day one, it's like, none of that matters. It didn't matter. It's just, it's just like, here's, here's the situation. Here's the scenario. This is where I'm at. All right. This is what I need to start working on. This is what I need to do. The past doesn't matter no. because you'll only feel bad and you'll only, uh, 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 feel despair and want to quit because you're not able to do it because you only have a track record of fucking failure. 
Yep. But at, but you said, this is my day one. Yep. And you went forward. Did you feel, did you think about the past? No, I didn't really. I thought, no. But I, so, I didn't. so it was like the it, right it was, time for it you. It was the right time. You went so fucking low. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You went so fucking low that it was it was the right time and all you could see was getting climbing back up. I, and that's I what it takes so sometimes. But you bad. can anybody li- yeah. anybody listening like that's what it if you will you will get so low that you either give up entirely for the rest of your life. That's what my dad did, I think. Yep. I mm-hmm. think he got so low and then he just decided so I can't get out of this hole. He he came to that like that's that's your like zero day where you're like, all right, now I have a choice. Do I live or do I die? And, you know, you chose life. I think dad chose death. And and yeah. and, and um, long before I realized. Yeah, well, I told you, but I know. <laughs> yeah. I like to think there's hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Perhaps my hope was misguided, but I hope so that 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 was do do you think that's good advice for me to give people like at their day one don't 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 even don't be ashamed accept all the things that got (sighs) you to where you are accept it because at at the end of the day like we're human and and we're doing the best we can and sometimes we fall victim to ourselves also you can't change that right yeah like that's it is it is what it is i happened it's done yeah i know and and i i try to stress this point a lot because, you know, the people who, who ask me for help that are like, they're, they're in shape already and they look good. And they're like, dude, how do I increase my bench press from 275 to 345? It's like, all right, well, that yeah, like that's cool. I can help you with that. But it's not very rewarding for me. I get excited when they do accomplish that. But it's, it's most rewarding for me when somebody is like, dude, I have 200 pounds to lose. And I don't know. I don't. I don't. I feel so bad about myself and I want to do so much better, but I fucking can't. And that's, that's the first thing I say to him. Hey, this is your day one. The past doesn't matter. Here's the situation. Here's where you're at. You know, you know, you, you know, the situation start attacking it. Right. That's it. Like, you know, the situation Here's you just look in the mirror, take your fucking clothes off, look in the mirror. This is the situation. How do I, how do I, how do I attack this? Okay, shit. I got to start working out. You started working out. You, you were working out for a long time and you saw good results. Um, you lost maybe 50 pounds or so from working out, but then you'd plateaued for a long time. Yeah. You also, what we were just talking about you in your assessment of your situation, you realize, Hey, my body swells and hurts more in the afternoon. So that means workouts in the morning are better. You created that time before work yep. to be able to go get those classes in because they they were there for you. So you 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 assessed what was going on very accurately and 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 made <laughs> made the changes work for God, that. That's it. Yep. You just look at like just like fuck. What am I working with? This is okay. the situation. This is it. All right, dude. And you know what's funny is like it's it never it never stops and it's relative. This is how I feel. And this is how I felt. So I've been I've been I've been pretty in shape my whole life. My my two powerlifting stints were interesting. They were interesting experiments, you know. And when they were done, I was I was fat to my and I have a, I hold myself to a very high standard of of you know lean and mean, you know. <laughs> but I was fat. I did not like what I saw in the mirror, and I was it it's it doesn't stop. I I I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was I was kind of overwhelmed by those negative emotions that would make a person want to quit. But I had to remind myself, it's like, no, this is the situation. Right. And I know what I need to do. Right. And I'm going to fucking do it. That's it. If I do what I know I need to do, I'm going to get there. Yeah. I'm going to get there. Did you? So, but, but I'm, I, I, I know this because I've been doing it my whole life. Did you have, when you started, did you have belief? Did you believe you could? I, um, you know, I, I here's the thing about me. I've always seen myself as a giant piece of shit. Me too. No, yeah. just no, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, Love I, you, mom. I, yeah, no. I, you know, I grew up. I grew up fit in my childhood. <laughs> yeah. I grew up fit till I, after I had you kids and 
stuff and and uh, that, that's that's how I see myself. That's that's the real me. What's that? More fit. Yeah. I just that's who I that's when I feel like I'm me. Yeah. So um but when I started this journey this was the hardest comeback I've ever had to you know with everything I was going through and um But think of how like it, much harder it would have been if you You know you, you know what, you off. know what's interesting right there? She said, "You know what? The, the, the this is the thing about fitness is is everybody like people have their own vocations, their own passions, their own desires, but everybody, it is a universal. Everybody wants to be fit. Mm -hmm. It's a universal. I don't give a fuck, you know, and it's, and it's not a shallow thing. It's not a shallow thing where it's not just about looks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Fitness is about, you know, you're treating your body and your mind. You feel good. Well, you yeah. know, like, yeah. So you, so, and when I, when I hear you say that, it's like, you think of yourself as this fit person. Fitness is important to you, but you don't live in accordance with that. Mm -hmm. Of course you're unhappy. Mm -hmm. Of course you're miserable and depressed. And maybe you take that out on other people at the wrong times, you know, like <laughs> it's a, maybe. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> oh, no, like, not, not, not just you, but yeah. that's, that's how humans yeah. fucking operate. Everybody so. wants to like, cause fitness is just like, like when we talk fitness, it's like mind, body, soul, mind, body, soul, you know, yeah. physically strong, mentally tough, you know, and then we have some sort of compass. And and if and if we don't live in accordance with that, we get fucking anxious and depressed. And we it's so like that must have made you uneasy for a long time. Oh, I was too. miserable. Yeah. I was miserable. And so now today, you know, uh, uh, when I hear people my age talking about, you know, how, you know, they they, you know, their knees hurt, their back hurts, you know, they can't work out because of these things. And I know that there's injuries and whatnot, yeah. but for the most, I mean, for the people like me, I just, I'm like, Oh, I know that was me. I know I used to say that too, but uh, honestly, with, with aging and injury, you if you can to do something, if you can strengthen the muscles around your joints, oh my it God. will help. It will help your knees. Your knees hurt three years ago because you were a fucking elephant. It was <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, that's a lot of fucking you. Like, that's a lot of pressure to put on your fucking bones. Yeah, they're working very hard for you. Be nice to them. Yeah, you you know, it's yeah. like yeah, and 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 the thing is, is um, you know, I have knee pain. I my my human knee is causes me more pain and discomfort than my fake knee, because I've been a cripple now for twelve, thirteen years or something like that, and pff, just. You know, pain is part of it. Yeah. Pain is part of it, but it's like. But you can also get rid of it. I mean, look at me. I'm. Yeah. I yeah. don't have knee pain. Right. Yeah. You could, I don't have knee pain. I don't have lower back pain. Really? I don't. It's gone. And like, so, yeah. So, so th three, four years ago, you couldn't jump to a 10 pound plate. What was your workout today? My workout today? Well, yeah. you should know it's your um, program. Yeah. But so yeah, it, yeah. I mean, my, I, my mom is doing our CrossFit <laughs> program. It's, nice. it's called it's called Wida RX because the you know she well, you, you've been well and, um, you've been going to CrossFit Apollo yes. here since you lived in Las Vegas. Yeah. But now you're working out in my fucking gym. Yeah. For uh, free. Sometimes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, really? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna wash liners after this. <laughs> <laughs> <Through that. laughs> what was yeah. your workout today so i started with a 10 minute casual row and then i Ugh, those are the fucking worst <laughs> 10 minutes did you did you do all 10 minutes well, of course it said 10 minutes hey just because it says 10 minutes like <laughs> i, I mean, did i mean I eight is 10 right i listened yeah. to the music and the sun was shining mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah and then uh five by five back squats okay What'd you get up to there? Uh, I did ninety pounds all all five sets. All five. Yeah. Which is what percentage of your one rep max? 
Well, it w- called for 88, but I can never do that. My no, you're not. A, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not there. So my one rep is 115, and I did 90, so whatever percentage that is, I don't know. Okay. And then and then it called for handstand push-ups, uh, uh, but I, I have to do them from a box. So I'm I'm up on a box now, doing them on my feet and, and then on my knees. Oh, you're doing pike handstand pike. push-ups? Fuck, yeah. Dude, I get, oh, uh, so. Yeah. I don't, I can't, you know, like, I would, um, watching my mom do dangerous movements in CrossFit is like watching my kids do oh, yeah. dangerous things. Like I am watching my kids like, no, 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 downhill mom, be mountain safe, bike. Be safe. This isn't safe for you. Like, I, hold on, you're doing pike. Yeah. And, oh, God, I can't watch that. No, no, you can watch me now. What you okay. remember is a couple years ago, I went to do that, and you were like, get off that box, mom. Yeah, a couple years ago. <laughs> put your my, feet back my down on the ground, ma. My, my sister, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> well, we were just going to try it. Yeah, but I come, I come, like, my sister and my mom were out in the garage gym at the old place. The old I, place and there? I, and I came, yeah, the old place there. And I came walking out. <laughs> Yeah, just down the way. Down the way. But, uh, yeah, but I come walking out, and <laughs> my mom is on this on top of this twenty four inch box on all fours. Yeah, yeah. and she's confused as shit because yeah. she doesn't even know how to get off. <laughs> and I'm like, she is just like a kid. Yeah, I'm like, what the? F-? And I was get like, down. And get down, down right and now. I looked down at right Katie now. like, Did you I was let like, her do this? You are in charge of this human. <laughs> and you are failing this human. You are putting them in a dangerous position. Why are my, I was like, Mom, why are, like get off? You are not here yet, but you're there now. I am there now. She's crushing out oh, handstand man. push-ups. Uh, I'm not, yeah. you know, Elevated. Can't do many, but I'm. Sorry. So what was the workout? No, and then, uh, and then it was a t- Tabata. Chibata bread. Chibata. 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 Uh, wall, wall ball sit-ups, the bike, sumo deadlift. High pulls, uh, burpees, and ke- kettlebell swings. That sounds fucking awful. Sounds like a lot of work. It sounds <laughs> awful. But now, and so now you're doing. And then you your, tapped your it off with fast are, eddies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ma does her fast eddies. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do your fucking fast eddies. If you guys yeah. don't know what fast eddies is, go onto the Google, type Derek White of fast eddies. It's the core workout I've done for the last 15 years. I got it from a platoon leader in the army. Who was a fucking stud. You got I, abs too, so it obviously works. It's but yeah, but it's not it's not like your fucking typical you know, six pack builder fucking bullshit. It's so much better than a fucking gay ass six pack builder fucking ab program. It builds your uh, like your core strength and endurance <laughs> and your hip flexor strength and endurance. It's a performance based core workout. I will fucking fight. Yeah, I will <laughs> fight you. Yeah, and my mom Seven does fast eddies, but you fucked up because you did twenty fives. I uh, did. You know, I t- fast up. eddies is twenty fives of everything. Yeah, and I can't. I got home, and I, you know, Ma was in the garage there, and I says, you know, what are you doing? What are She's, you doing there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must be on beer four or five or something because the Minnesota's coming out. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, I just did Fast Eddie's. Took me 22 minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? 2042. Yeah, well, it's the same goddamn thing. If you're above 12 minutes, you just you just suck. But you know, like, that's It was awful. an experiment yeah. today to see if I could do all 25. Oh, that's what you were doing. Yeah, I was experimenting on. Okay, but okay, but yeah. there's no ex. Okay, all right, I okay. You got that out of your system. Respect fast Eddie's. Respect okay. Eddie. Yes, Respect I, I got. Eddie. I got schooled. Give Eddie. So I got the, schooled. The, the, what I was told <laughs> is that like Major Fast Eddie was a Green Beret, and he made this fucking program. You know, so that's like you have to respect Major Fast Eddie. Yeah. You don't get to fucking, no, you don't get to fucking change it, okay? You go all the way through and you don't rest. And what I told you is, like, do 15 reps instead of 25. Right. I said do 15s until you can get that in 10 to 12 minutes and then do 20s and then when you can get that into 10 and 12 minutes, then do 25s. There's no, there is, I'm very protective. Do not re-fucking design Fast Eddies. Can't do it. And people do this. They they, they mod it and stuff like that. I'm like, that's disrespectful. Do you fucking hate your, like, do you hate 
fucking Green Berets. Yeah, do you hate, do you hate Green Berets? Green Berets? <laughs> do you, like, do you hate America? <laughs> do you hate but, special forces? <laughs> yeah. You just, know, it's disrespectful. No, do not. Do. I'm already giving you. You know how I learned to do fast eddies alone in my barracks room. I couldn't get through fast, but so I started with 25 <laughs> alone in my barracks room, <laughs> full of shame because the I same, couldn't fucking the do the whole thing. Place, I learned how to pack a can of chew. <laughs> you know? and you gotta, sometimes you got to get good in private before you take that shit public. I completely you know? agree. Yep. You know, so yeah, I just you know it, it fucking hurt. Um, but yeah, don't don't yeah. disrespect fast yeah. Like no, it's not. There, there's just a lot don't do food. it, ma. Hey, CrossFit is infinitely scalable. Fast Eddie's is not. All right. Don't, uh, don't, 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 don't got, do that. I got my lesson. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now you're, so now you're down to 200.4 pounds. This is the most consistent I've seen you in my life. You're you, point you, four you're, away you're from being under consistent. I know. I'm so excited for it. When it happens, but everyone will not, know I will what, scream. What's your, what's your, what's your end goal? You know, I'm not. A hundred percent sure. I, you know, the last in my forties, I got down to one fifty, and that's that's it's it, that's hard for me. It's hard for me to maintain. Why? I I don't I don't know. You probably, weren't eating the same probably though back because I didn't eat right then. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know what? I'm just gonna. That should be way easier. I I, I don't know. Something. Long, I don't know. Are you I doing just, math? Why, are you doing oh, math over there? No. No, Ross texts me and so oh. I answer that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Excuse I don't. I, it doesn't. It doesn't comprehend I, to me. I don't um, know. because I. You, you know, it you have to have a goal. You have to have a goal, and, and I'm agree. an ambitious goal person. You have to have an idea in your mind of where you want to go. But what's your goal? One seventy. One seventy. Yep. How are you going to get there? I'm gonna. Keep doing my cleaner eating and keep working out. I think, you know, it's harder to, it's, I, I hate it when people said it when I was younger, but I'm here to tell you, the older you get, the harder it is to. Sure. But that's why. So, yes. But that's why. What you do in your thirties pays dividends. Oh my when you're god! In your fifties. What you do in your fuck. When you what you do in your twenties <laughs> yeah. pays dividends. When you're in your thirties, if you like, are, are, I'm gonna Listen say this, to him, people. I'm gonna say this straight <laughs> up. If you're in your twenties, build your fucking habits now. Yep. Build your fucking habits now. While you got that high metabolism, you can get away with so much in your twenties. You can you can be a giant fucking piece of shit and get away with it. But guess what? It's gonna fucking catch up to you. It, I I promise you, it's gonna catch up to you. Build your fucking habits now. What I do, I do like I do naturally because I built, you know. And at the time when I was in my twenties, I was, I was fighting so hard against my nature, because I only wanted to do, the wrong thing. But I was fighting so hard to do the right thing, and sometimes I won, and sometimes I lost, and things like that. Fight your fucking ass off to build the right habits. And then you won't have to write me and ask me how I'm able to accomplish whatever I want to accomplish because you'll understand. So I'm I, I, I'm saying fight now. Build your fucking habits now. Give a shit about your health. Give a shit about your fitness. It's fucking easy. We're not. I'm not asking you to be a fucking competitive athlete. I'm asking you to stay healthy and stay fit and stay alive and be able to stand down and sit up when you're in your 50s, what you do in your 20s will come back to fucking bite you in your ass when you're in your 50s. I mean, maybe your 20s you can get away with, but it's easy when you're in your 20s if you build those habits when you're in your 30s and now all of a sudden you're married and you got kids and you got a fucking mortgage and you got to figure out your next fucking business move or your career advancement and things like that. If you have your habits set up in place, if 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 you if you make a health and fitness a priority in your twenties, then it's just a it's just a priority, and there's you're not willing to sacrifice that, and that's just a part of you. You're like, hey, no matter what I do or what I become or how my situation changes in life, this is me. This is a part of me, and you fucking hammer that shit in in your twenties, and it and 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 you won't have to. I, I promise you won't have to be where you, where my mom was when she was 54, when she's so overwhelmed by her lack of health 
and fitness yep. that she's faced with a fucking she's at a fucking T intersection and left is dying and right is wanting to live or t- or trying to live. You had a fucking you're you're and you chose life. And when you turned the corner, you looked up and it was fucking Mount Everest. <laughs> you know? like, no when, doubt. When, when you could have made it, you could have no made doubt. it so much easier on yourself. But it's not yeah. your fault that you didn't, mm. because that's that's it's not your it's not your fault that you didn't. You know, you like life happened and you handled it as best as you could as, along the way. And and when you you know there was there was a lot of mistakes you made, but we're all prey to our emotion. And if we're not staying on top of that shit, it's going to fuck us up in the end. It's going to fuck you up it down does. the road. Right. You know? Yep. It did. So, but now I sit here today, like I said, the knee pain, the kidney de- mm-hmm. disease has been in remission for what, a year and a half? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I got lucky. I'm lucky. I, I was still young enough to you're work through lucky. that and get that you're back. You're not lucky. You fucking worked your I ass off. I did work my you're ass not, off. You're not lucky it. at all. And that's, that's the, had the nothing point. To do with the it. point is, it's it's okay. So say you fucking didn't give a shit your twenties. You didn't give a, you didn't give a shit your thirties. You didn't give a shit your forties. It is never too late to no. start. It is never too late to start. And no task is insurmountable. Nope. With a willing spirit, you can over you can you can accomplish anything. You can overcome anything. Like what you did is I think more inspiring than what I've done. No, because, I don't know but, about that, but No, seriously, like you were you were you were you you uh, you know, like what happened to me was was traumatic and devastating, but somebody else did it to me. Um what happened to you, you did to yourself mm-hmm. for 30 years. And you had to, you had to look that in the mirror and you had to say like, I did this to me. And how do you believe in yourself right there? If you know that you are the one, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is depressing. It's <laughs> not, it, no, it's not depressing because the, 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 truth. The, 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 the point of the story is, you is, can. is, is you can at any, but you, like, it, like but that's it's it's the truth you're man. right life yeah. life that is life sometimes yeah. it's yeah. fucking that hard yeah it is that hard those are the but that's and i and i only bring it up because those are the things that stop people oh yeah don't stop don't yeah. like so what you yeah. know <laughs> like you did and now you can change it <laughs> yeah yeah and, and 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 like we said it's like you know Pick your day one because you like you're you're doing so amazing now and now 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 your goals I love it that like now your goals are forward thinking you don't think about oh how am I gonna how am I gonna fucking see fifty seven you know <laughs> how am I gonna sit down you're like how can I fucking pr my back squat yep. my fucking two hundred fifty meter row is shit that's right how do I get that better how do I get a taller box to put my feet on for push-ups? yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep. performance based goals now you're fucking killing it and you're you're cooking you're mm-hmm. like I have you know what I I, I um I didn't uh, I didn't enjoy the fact that I wasn't proud of my parents for so long. I didn't, but there was, I had no reason to be proud. I mean, you guys kept me alive and you kept me safe and you kept me healthy and things like that. I know you loved me and I know you did your best, but you guys never really did anything that aligned with my values right? where I was proud of you. But for the last three years, like I'm actually proud of you. And it's yes, uh, like, baby boy. and when I come out, when I, I peek my head at like you work out at my house now and I just yeah. poke my for head free. In, yeah, for free. <laughs> oh, wait. Come on now. You know, Owen. I, peek, I peek my head out now and I say, What are you doing, Ma? And you tell me. And I'm like, All right. And sometimes I just close the door because it's like, Yeah, hey, you're, you're your own person. I'm so proud. And you're doing so well. Like, you're really, you. you're like, you're doing amazing. You're trying, you're trying hard. And that, that's what makes, I'm not proud of you. I'm proud for you. And it makes me proud as a son to see you. Try and I th- maybe that's where I get it from or something like that, you know. Or you've always had a passion for life. I'm just like I just want like thank you, like thank you. Was, that yeah. means a lot to me. That yeah, that's cool. No, it means a lot to me. That and I think I think that's what a purse uh, parent 
I mean, I think that a parent should try. If if you have a kid, how are you not going to try to be your best? Right. Like you always have a reason to do your best. There's 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 not a fucking weakness is incredibly weak at that point. You know, I I I don't or I don't know, but I I can see how uh, people get easily overwhelmed and things like that. But I'm a dad now, and I try to do my motherfucking best because I want my kids to be proud of me. I want them to be proud of. I want them to be proud of me. I want them to be proud of their name. I want them to aspire to be like me. And then I want to teach them to aspire to be better than me. And I think that was something that was lacking in my upbringing. Yeah. And I don't like that. And I think it fucked me up a little bit. A little but bit. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but I, the but I, is that but you I, see but, that. But, but here now on the record, I'm 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 fucking I'm proud. I've always I've always I've always been a mama's boy. I've always loved you and you've always been there for me and you've always helped and supported me. But now I'm proud of you. <laughs> for you. Like you're fucking awesome. You came to a hard road in life and you made a hard decision. When I wrote I wrote you and dad off as, you know, quitters. You were fuck you know, like you guys were quitters and I was on my own. But now, shit, fuck. You know? She ain't a quitter, man. Yeah, no, she ain't no goddamn quitter. Nope. And and I think, oh, oh. I just want so many. The point is, I want other people to not quit too. Yeah. Because you're you're like I'm nothing special, and you're nothing special. Mm. And we we made we've made hard we made those hard decisions. They seem stupid and trivial. There's a lot more difficult problems out there and things like that. But so what what would your advice be to somebody? who has a dark cloud over them. And that dark cloud is they want to be fit, but they're avoiding it because they don't know where to start. What would you tell that person? I would tell that person, do something. You got to do something. It's so hard to get started. Uh, if you got somebody who's a friend and into something, it, it it's good to have support. I had you guys, I had, you know, well, I... I'll I wasn't really there for you. Let's you wasn't much help. Yeah, you were. A, you were a motivation though. Watching <laughs> what you got, went through and all of that, you were a motivator. I, I would. You just. You just got to start, and that's the hardest thing. And and. I I I would even go so far as to say. CrossFit is a great way to go. I think it's uh, like, I, it's, I mean, it's, so it's a weird great we're community. We're sort of like embarrassed or ashamed to say that. Right. I now, know. CrossFit is this CrossFit is the it's, sport of fitness. The, the training ideology there is to make you in tune with your body and move as efficiently as possible. I, what I, <laughs> what I think is about so great about it for someone like me is that I walked into a community that just, put their arms around me from day one. Yeah. You know, you know? In, they're like, Hey, are you fucking fat? Cool. Come yeah. hang out with us. We love you. 6am. Yeah. <laughs> we meet every day. Yeah. Don't be late fatty. They, <laughs> they're, they're just, they're, they're just welcoming that way and supportive. And it doesn't matter who you are and what you can do or can't do or anything. I, I, I it's that community support that, uh, really helps. It so just really does. So that, that person is at home. And they're listening and they, they, they've been putting this off for years. It's just, it's always just sign up, sign up, just sign up, yep. just, just sign up, just, just go. And I, and, and, and I, and I agree with you. I think CrossFit is a beautiful thing because you have guided and like on top of it, like the community, you have, you have guidance and direction Yep. and CrossFit is a tough thing to get into because there's a long ass learning curve. But if you think positively about it, you're like, well, I'm learning how to move my body and, and it has its own specific movements and things like that. But it's and literally it's, you can scale anything for any ability. Yeah, it's, it's infinitely scalable <laughs> and you can modify whatever the, the fuck you want. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just moving your body. You can't you can't get that at the bro gym. I love bro gyms. I love bodybuilding training. I love classic training, but that's not it's not for you. It's yeah. not for you. You're not, you're not self-guided. No. You don't have the education. No. You don't have the passion. Yeah. You know, 
CrossFit is good for you. CrossFit is good for other people. And I just, um, man, yeah. you know, I've never had an issue myself with um, um, quitting. You know, I, but what, what, what you did for a long time was quit. Yeah. And it fucks a person up. And I hear that all the time. Yeah. That's the, that's one of the, you know, that's, that's the most common message to me. It doesn't matter what people say about the details. Right. The fucking end result is they've been quitting for a long time. I quit. I gave and up. And now they're I'd... so, they're, they're, they're so sad. They're, they're so mad at themselves Ugh. for quitting. Like the, don't be mad at yourself. No, you gotta if you're dump listening, that. And, and if you fit this criteria of somebody who fucking wants to do better, wants to be better. And, and you're just waiting for that spark. Please let my mom be your spark. <laughs> Please, please, just, you know, fucking let her be your spark. Now is the time. Now is the fucking day. And it just starts at one day. And now you've been doing this for three years. And, um, like, it's... And I'm still getting better. Yeah. Every day. I know. Every day. Oh, I see you out there. You can do a lot better for sure. (laughs) So can I. And that's how I see it, you know? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it. And I feel stronger. I feel healthier. Mm Mm-hmm. I've got a kidney appointment coming up, and I can't wait. You're I can't wait. Fucking slap the shit out of that. I doctor. know. Yeah, now and now 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 you're combining everything because now you got you got you've been working out, and now yeah. you're doing like I I I'm re- I really like the training program that you're doing because we made it and we sell it. It's White RX. It's a good training program. Yeah, and it's more than you're used to for sure. A lot more. Yeah, but yeah. like, but that's you know. We don't put out bitch ass fucking training. We don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty. That's, that's one I of our can, cannons right yeah, there. Yeah. I'm pretty proud I can get through I'm it. Fucking, I, when when I heard you were doing that, I was like, oh, okay, 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 fucking. But I'm on week three. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I know you're gonna and and yeah, you're gonna see good results from this. I'm sure you already are. And now you're combining it with the fucking food education you're learning in yeah. Habitat. Yeah. And, I, and I and I Habitat. and I don't know when I know they're doing another. They call it a challenge. You know, we had Chad Cole on two weeks ago. Yeah, but it, it's more of an educational course. And yep. and you would give this five stars. A five out of five. Ab- yeah, we should pl- we should plug that site too. It's Habitat dot com. Habitat. Habitat. But it but it's Habitat like H A B I T A P app. Habit uh, app. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And and we'll probably um, share it on uh, my social media and yep. promote it as well because yeah, I, it's I, excellent. I, I don't go that detailed with people about nutrition and things like that. No, you hate talking about food, but kinda. it's 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 something that I don't. I just I don't enjoy. Right? No, but that's I, fine. But I trust the fuck out of Chad and Monica. Yeah, they know their they've, shit. They've created an an an, an awesome program. Yep. It was and, a really it, good way to learn to. Eat. Eat healthy. That's what it's not a challenge. It's not a challenge. It's an education course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It teaches you about fucking food. This is what food is. Motherfucker. Oh, no. Hello. Welcome to life. <laughs> right. 56 year old oh, woman. This God is what damn. you've been saying. God. Oh. Yeah, but, but you don't listen to me. That's the weird thing, man. I do. It's like I do you, listen, but it, I get it now. Mm-hmm. You know, I do listen. And, and you're absolutely right. Everything you say is. It's like. Duh. Yeah. But but, but everybody yeah, learns you, different. You have yep. no no everybody has their time. Yes. That's what you know, Agree. like with like I learned that with you and dad. Yeah. And you know, my sister and and Stacy and things like that. Owen is working on that. Yeah. I slow play the fuck. It's the long of all con. of you. You guys yep. don't know this. You act like I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just in it for the long game. That's it. Oh, hey, Owen, I got some candy. Yeah. I got some candy. You want it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I will. I will. Like, I just, like, <laughs> I know. Like, everybody thinks I'm so dumb. I said, but, uh, no, um, no, I think that's going to do it for tonight. <laughs> I think, uh, Mom, thank you so much for coming on and, and telling your story. I think it's, I, I, th- I, 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 I I'm inspired by you. You make you. I'm so proud of you. You make me want to do better. Yep. And and I've always wanted that. Thank I've you. always I've always wanted that in my. I think every child wants that in their parents. And like I said, yeah. I want to teach my boys to aspire to be like me, but then to be better than me. I was like, here's here's how far I could get, and I wish I could have gotten further, but you need to go above and beyond. And and you make me want to do better. You really do. You you well, make me and as and 
Likewise. Well, all right. And that's <laughs> how the fucking me. world works. There you we know? go. But I just I just wanted to say that to your face. You make me want to be better in a lot of ways, um, especially as a person. You're such a good person. Thank you for being my mom. I love you so much. I love you too, son. All right. Well, Owen, that's going to do it for this episode of Savage Saturdays here on the Duke of Rose podcast. We love you guys. Have a good night. See you next week.